Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, May 5th. It's raining, but it is Cinco de Mayo, so uh, I guess that means I'll have a margarita. Uh, now, I know a lot of people have a good time on Cinco de Mayo. Um, we, we often will go out to a Mexican restaurant or something, but they tend to be pretty crowded, so... Uh, and the rain is sort of putting a damper on things this week. I'm getting a lot of indoor sort of stuff done, but, uh, yeah, just not, not a great weekend for outdoor type things. So, uh, today, um, this is a basket pipe, which I, sorry about the repeat, I think I might have smoked this last week or maybe the week before, uh, but it's one of my, my favorites, and it was in the rack waiting for me. And I am smoking some Peter Stokeby Norwegian Mixture, which is a very light Virginia. It's, it's, it's okay. I don't think I'd... Uh, this was a gift from uh, my friend Eric, and uh, thank you, Eric. Uh, it's, it's great to be able to try these things. And it's it's good. It's good quality tobacco. It's just not my uh, my kind of Virginia. It's a little too much on the high end of things, the high notes. Um, so I hope you're all doing well. Uh, apologize for Friday. I didn't do a roadway ramble video on Friday because uh, and this is a little bit embarrassing. But I just forgot. Uh, got home. I was. Uh, you know, doing some stuff before dinner, and I thought, oh, gee, this is when I'd normally be editing together my video, and I, I didn't do that. So, sorry about that. Obviously, I didn't have much to ramble about if I didn't even remember to turn the camera on. Uh, and, yeah, just been kind of busy getting, getting some pipes done. I wanted to follow up on last week and um, talk a bit more about olive oil actually, because I got lots of responses to that, and I've got some questions, some questions by email. Um, and the one thing that I really thought was worth revisiting, uh, and several people pointed this out in the comments, was the use of olive oil on stems. So, as I thought about it, I think that's okay. Um, and, and, again, this is this is in the realm of opinion rather than you know scientific fact or anything. I'm just going to tell you my opinion on this, but I think it's okay. So, the reason I think that olive oil is okay on the stem is that um, the stem is not porous in the same way that briar is, and briar is not a terribly porous wood either, uh, but it certainly is more porous than vulcanite or ebonite. Now, if you've got acrylic stems, there's no need to oil them. Um, the reason to apply the oil is that it's going to displace water that's at the surface. And the reason why uh, vulcanite, ebonite, uh, I suppose Cumberland, although it doesn't seem to oxidize uh, as much, uh, the reason they oxidize is there's a reaction that requires sulfur in the, in the, in the rubber, um, water, and UV light, sunlight, or, you know, other, other sources of UV light. So, by putting the oil on, you basically are um, displacing that water that, that might be on the surface. And, you know, it's going to be saliva or even just like humidity in, in, the, in the atmosphere. Uh, so, it, it's a good practice to occasionally oil your, your stems. And, and I certainly do it after every thorough cleaning and probably should do it like maybe once a month. Uh, but I don't think to do it all the time. So... Let me show you an example of, of uh, this is a stem I'm working on right now, I'm refinishing this. And I don't know if the camera will be able to pick this up, but there's an oil coating on this. Okay, this has been coated with mineral oil. And I do that, so this has been sanded uh, with micro mesh pads, it's, it's down to uh, whatever the highest grid is, I think it's like 20,000 or something like that. So it's still not buffed, it's still rough. And I believe, and again, this is belief, not fact, I believe that in that state, it's possible to get some of that oil into the surface, like below the surface of the vulcanite. And it seems when I do that, that I have much better success 
after I buff and polish and wax that the pipe, the, the stem does not oxidize as quickly as it does when I don't do that. So that's a case where I would not use olive oil because I think that it's going to, I, I think that this stem is going to carry some mineral oil with it for a while. But after the stem is, is buffed and polished and waxed and you know, essentially sealed, uh, and you're just using it as a water displacer, like I described a minute or two ago, I think olive oil would be fine then, because it's not going to sink in, it's going to just give you a light surface coating, and you know, you, you, it's going to be wiped away just as you wipe off the, because you're not going to leave globs of oil on your pipe when you put it away. So I think for stem care, olive oil is probably a pretty reasonable uh, choice. Uh, now I use mineral oil. Uh, that's called that's called paraffin oil in some other countries. It's very cheap. Uh, it's only a couple dollars for a big bottle of it that'll last you for your entire life. So I still think I would recommend the mineral oil over the olive oil just because you don't have to worry about it. But if you're using olive oil on your stems, I think you're probably okay. And if you're using it on your briar, I'm glad that that works for you too. I, I didn't mean to disparage anyone's pipe maintenance ha habits. I just wanted to, you know, sort of give you my opinion on this. And the other question that I got from actually three people was, I've already put olive oil on my pipe, how do I get it off? Well, there's a couple of options you have. Uh, one is, I just wouldn't worry about it. You know, the truth is, if by the time it looks like it needs to be oiled or waxed again, you've probably worn off most of that, and what's left is a mixture of oil and dirt that you would have from your hand anyway. So, yeah, a gentle cleaning, something like just a damp cloth, a paper towel or something like that, or an old t-shirt, just get it damp, not, not real wet, and just kind of rub it. Um, you can use um, Murphy's oil soap, things like that, but that will often... Well, that will break down the wax, and it often will pull out some of the stain. So you've got to be careful with that. If you're not willing to uh, re-wax the pipe, rebuff and wax the pipe, I wouldn't recommend using any cleaners. Um, but you can try. You know, it's your pipe. You can, you can try whatever you want. Uh, and beyond that, I just wouldn't worry about it. I don't think there's much you can do. If it's in the wood, you're not going to get it out, uh, and it's not bothering you. So just, just leave it be. If it's on the surface, it's it's gone. You know, you've wiped it away already, and uh, and that should be fine. So I think that's everything I could possibly have to say about olive oil, unless we start talking about Italian cuisine, and then I'll have quite a bit to say. So it's been a been a good week. Uh, got got a lot done down here, uh, working pretty exclusively now on on the the shop um, renovations. Uh, the stem I just showed you is the last pipe that I'm going to be doing until after my cataract surgery in June. So I'm going to have some time to, to really work on this. And I've begun with the lighting. So I've got, um, I'm going to be putting six runs of um, fluorescent LEDs in this orientation. And I've got two of those in now. And each run is one, two, three, four, is five uh, LED strips. And these are, they're almost, I think they're 46 inches. So, furnace is active today. Um, bottom line is the lights are going in. And I'm a little bit slow, but I'm hoping, hoping that maybe by next week I'll have all the lights in. And then we can begin the, uh, the hard stuff. I just wanted to be able to see what I'm doing <laughs> before I started doing it. Uh, so, lots of work to be done, but I'm very excited about it. And I'll keep you posted on the development. Uh, so, wife and I are off to uh, breakfast and do some shopping. And uh, I'll be back later this afternoon. So, I hope you all are having a fantastic weekend, a wonderful Sunday. And I hope you have a great week ahead. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.